I don't, I don't even know what's happening, so I'm just gonna smack them with a lot of lightning. Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another add-on showcase video. Today we're going to be checking out three new Minecraft add-ons that add in new weapons or tools into the game, and each of these add-ons is completely craftable in survival, as well as adds in a new type of weapon or tool um, that is, is sort of tiered like the way you'd have a pickaxe, you'd have a wooden one, a diamond one, or whatever. I'd also like to thank you guys again to 4,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed right now, I, I don't know what you're doing with your life, so subscribe. And anyway, let's hop right into the video. All right, the first add-on we have here is the MC Hammers Haha -ha, add-on by Crazy Games. This is an add-on that adds in hammers, which are essentially like a combination of a sword and a pickaxe. Now, this is a fairly small add-on, considering that as of right now, there's only four hammers, but this is one of the most polished and well thought out and made add-ons that I have seen in a while. So when you hold out a hammer, it says hammers mod 2 there, which is really neat. It sort of like slows you down. I, I think I might have said axes and swords. I meant pickaxes if I said axes. Um, so each of them, the better the hammer is essentially, the more it slows you down. They all do the same damage as their um, as their like counterpart. So like uh, a diamond sword does seven damage, diamond hammer does seven, seven damage, but with the exchange, it makes you slow but it also acts as a pickaxe. So I don't think it acts against some of the things. I don't think he's set it up um, so it acts against like everything in the game, uh, which most pickaxe add-ons don't. But I'm gonna go ahead and mine through just some regular blocks and look at this, hammer pickaxe. It works really well. Um, so it works as a pickaxe. And then if we head on over to this, uh, to our little mob thing, I can summon in some mobs and we can test how it is as a sword. I'm assuming it's going to be kind of weird considering the fact that I am going to like have slowness and whatever. Um, and you know, that's kind of expected, I guess, but let's summon in some husk. We can fight off a wave of husk probably with this, just like using a diamond sword, except I have slowness. But if I want to, I can, I can mine some stone if I... If I wish. It doesn't seem to have very long reach, although that might just be because the slowness makes it look like it doesn't have long reach. In reality, it's probably just completely normal. This is a really cool add-on though. It's done really well, and like I said, all these are craftable in survival. I will show you guys the recipe in just a second once I clear out all these guys. Oh my gosh, there's too many of them. Okay, well I need the extra speed, so I'm gonna pull out the wooden hammer for a second. Um, just so I can like get away from them, and then, then, yeah, and then, then I can go back in for a heavy attack. Oh, pow, pow, pow. Okay, well, I want to show you guys how to craft these two, because they're very simple, very intu- I died, okay. Very simple, very intuitive recipe um, for crafting these. I actually had a block- I really need to make a staircase into here, don't I? Um, well, there's only a few more of these guys left, and most of them are crowding over in the corner of- The corner of death, I guess, is what I can call it. The guy with the, all the- uh, what is that called? Gold armor. I can't believe I forgot the word gold. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, I don't know if I have any sticks on hand, so I'm just gonna slash- Give myself some sticks. Uh, there we go, three sticks is enough. Okay, so anyway, you can see here, the hammers, I can make a stone hammer, it shows up. It's essentially like a helmet of whatever material that you're using. I know there's no stone helmets. And then two sticks, and that makes whatever hammer that you want. So if you scroll down into here, we can see that all the hammers are just the same. This is a really cool add-on from Crazy Games. They're on the Discord, link in the description. Uh, they submitted it on the Discord, and it's a really cool add-on. I'm probably going to give this a 6 out of 10. It's a really well thought out, really well done add-on, really well polished. However, there's only, what, four hammers that it adds. So I can't wait to see what it has in the future, and I would definitely say this is a really high quality add-on, and it's totally worth checking out or adding to a Minecraft world. Now, I know, I know it's a 6 out of 10, but like, trust me, this is a 6 out of 10 out of 6 out of 10, if that makes sense. All right, the next add-on we are going to be checking out is the Battle Axes add-on. This is an add-on by Sori662 or Pop or something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, as always, there's links in the description to everybody. Go support the creators of these add-ons. But this is an add-on that adds in a bunch of new Battle Axes that all have special abilities and look very cool. So I'm going to start out with the Iron Battle Axe. It's a fairly normal high damage weapon. Uh, I will go ahead and show you some of the crafting recipes for these guys. So I don't know why. Oh, wait here. I don't want to have craft belong here we go um so if we scroll down we look at the battle axes if we look at like the basic ones like the iron and diamond they take two blocks of the material plus three of that material so it's actually pretty similar to the hammers which is kind of funny except it takes up you know two blocks so these are very expensive to make but 
you can use the diamond battle axe to upgrade, or I guess you can upgrade it to get these extra battle axes that all have special powers. So what do they do? Well, if you interact with them, you will get a buff. At least that's what the iron one does. So I'm gonna sort of, you know, spawn in some guys and we're gonna try to take them out. So I'm gonna just wait until my iron buff, oh my gosh. Okay, well I can one-shot them just by default because this thing does so much damage. Um, but also it gives me the buff of strength and whatever. So uh, yeah, this is very, very easy to take out. Geez, these things are OP, especially if you had an iron farm or whatever. These would not be hard to make here. I'm gonna put on the gold helmet. Um, next one, the emerald is actually more of a passive thing. It gives you absorption as well as hero of the village. So if you would like, you know, to be able to trade with your uh, trade with your traders, and the emerald one does 22, the iron one does 20, by the way. But if you want to be able to trade with your wandering or not your wandering traders, with your villagers and uh, and get some very good loot and whatever, get some good deals, then I recommend the emerald battle axe. It's uh, it's good for getting getting good deals and you know negotiating down to a to a good price or whatever you do in Minecraft. Then the diamond one does 24 damage, which is two more than the emerald. And the diamond one gives you speed and jump boost. So this is really good for, you know, running around, smacking these guys. This doesn't seem to be the most effective strategy against husks specifically, because they'll just smack me while I'm in the air a ton. Actually, this is not going well here. Let me give myself the uh, absorption from the emerald battle axe. I think that's actually a pretty good strategy. There we go, we took them out. Jeez, these things are really, really good. Okay, let's check out the next one here, the Lightning Battle Axe. Oh, I'm gonna starve. That's not good, I shouldn't starve. Starving is bad. Um, I mean, to all the people who are starving, just eat. Oh my gosh, am I right? No, but seriously, it's an actual problem. Okay, the Lightning Battle Axe. It summons a lightning wherever you look. I can look up there and put lightning. I can look over there and put lightning. I can look at myself and, and put lightning if I want to, okay. Um, as well as it just does 28 damage, which is a lot better than the diamond one. I'm pretty sure you use the diamond battle axe to craft the rest of the battle axes. Um, and we're gonna see if we can take out some of these guys by just spamming lightning on them. Okay, this is actually really fun to just like, to just like smack them repeatedly. I don't know, you can probably hear my, my mouse clicks right now. I'm clicking very fast. That, I didn't even take a single damage. All right, well, lightning battle axe, very good. So then the next one is the blaze battle axe. As you can see, oh my gosh, the poor, the poor guy. Okay, well, it lights all enemies on fire and adds fire, a little fire radius around them. Plus it gives you fire resistance. So I can do this. I can run up into these guys and just use this thing. And so they all start burning and then I don't get burnt by them or by the other things. Hold on, let me use the emerald one. There we go. And then these guys will just start burning and it literally covers your entire world in fire. Oh my gosh. Like literally this whole thing is just fire. Um, and then of course it does a lot of damage. It does 32 attack damage. So you can one shot them anyway. If you were having doubts that uh that you weren't going to be able to to do good damage with the fire which i know the fire doesn't do the most damage um i don't know if these actually work as axes now i'm kind of curious before we move on to the next battle axe i want to see yes they do they work as very good axes um and then next up we have the ice battle axe which is you you craft it with like the diamond one and some ice i think so this one freezes all the enemies puts them in a little box but there's all the fire so that they're it's the, the ice is melting but I can still spam it and put them in this little box. And this one does 38 attack damage, so I just break the ice and then do that, freeze them, break the ice. Uh, very easy, very good at breaking ice, I guess. Um, so I guess they, they coded it in so that the ice battle axe breaks ice very easily. Um, this is actually kind of a pain to get around. I don't, I don't even know what's happening, so I'm just gonna smack them with a lot of lightning. Um, I think that kind of solves the problem. Let's see, let me let me light them on fire a few times and then put them in ice and then fire and then ice and then fire. I'm just being mean to them at this point. Oh, uh, and you know what? I'm gonna give myself some jump boost and speed and light them a blade. Light myself a blaze apparently. Well, I'm just gonna leave these guys here if there's anybody left. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to summon any more to test out the ender battle axe. So anyway, that takes us to the ender battle axe. I'm pretty sure this is just like a chorus fruit kind of thing. Yeah, it just teleports you somewhere random. I think in like maybe the general direction. Nope, not necessarily. It just teleports you away randomly. But this one does in fact do 40 attack damage, making it probably the best one here. It is insanely powerful. I'd also like to note that experience orbs, since it generates ice around every entity, experience orbs and items also get, um, also get, you know, whatever. They get encased in ice. 
Um, so I want to see if I can get to these guys with my Ender Battle Axe, but really after, after like the Diamond one, they all pretty much one-shot everybody, even if they have armor on. This one does 40 damage, so it's a little bit overkill, but it does, I guess it's probably worth the 40 damage. I mean, it's pretty good. So like, let's say like, oh no, I'm at one heart theoretically, and then I can just teleport away, zoop away, and then head over to these guys and just smack them repeatedly um, like this, you know? I don't even have to smack them repeatedly. I only have to smack them once. The lightning one's my favorite though. This is very fun. Lightning. Come on, get lightning, get lightning or burn or ice. The ice melted. Okay, well that solves my problem. Anyway, that's it for this add-on. I'm going to give this add-on a solid seven and a half out of 10, maybe 7.6. This is a really good add-on that adds in a really, really cool new type of weapon. It adds in a lot of different weapons. I can't move through this water for some reason. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a seven point, you know, 7.7 7 is like, I can. Anyway, 7.7 7 out of 10, very cool. Even though it just adds a few battle axes, they're all very cool. All right, now the last add-on we are going to be checking out is the Lingo's Chainsaws add-on. This is an add-on that adds in chainsaws. That's about it. When I saw this, I was like, wow, that looks so cool. It adds in chainsaws and I'm adding chainsaws in my add-on too, which I actually made before I knew this was a thing. I included it in this video because I know these aren't really technically weapons, but they're weapons against trees uh, and they don't seem to be particularly, oh no, they are, okay. They're, that's the wood one. That's why it wasn't very effective. Well, anyway, they're, they're very good axes essentially that don't have durability because you can't have durability right now i don't know how effective they are as a weapon so i'm going to try out the netherite chainsaw and i'm just curious to see if it actually does any attack damage they don't have the weapon variable on so it doesn't display attack damage um but i want to see if they actually do function as a weapon can i smack these guys a few times let me smack this guy a lot yeah this doesn't seem to oh i guess it kind of does it does what like I don't know what that is, five, four, four damage maybe? Still not a very effective weapon, but let's go and see if we can chop down some trees with our chainsaw, which is held upside down for some reason in my hand. It looks kind of weird, I don't, I don't know. I'm not exactly one for the chainsaw, let's see how is this. It's kind of slow for netherite, I mean I guess it's just kind of like an axe. Um, the crafting recipes aren't very expensive though, I think if anything they're probably cheaper than axes. I don't know if they're enchantable or not, I will test though. Uh, enchant at the efficiency. Can I enchant them? Yes, I can. They are enchantable. So if you want a slightly cooler looking axe, I mean, you know, feel free to check out the chainsaw add-on. I guess they do look pretty cool. They do work pretty cool, but they don't really do anything. I don't think they're just a slightly cheaper, uh, maybe slightly less good, maybe slightly better axe. I'm starving again. I know this was a much shorter one. I thought these would have some interesting thing to them. Maybe they did a lot of damage and we could fight some stuff. But no, not really. They're just kind of, they're, I guess, just what you'd expect. You just break stuff with them. Um, so anyway, I'm going to give this one a four and a half out of ten because I'm just personally not a fan of like the models. Um, I've seen some other add-ons by Alingo though, I think, before, and they've been really good. So uh, I'm not holding this against anybody or anything. But yeah, this is a, a very simple add-on. It gets the job done and it looks okay in the process. Anyway, thanks for watching if you made it to here. As always, there's links in the description to download these add-ons as well as a link to my Discord. Also subscribe to my channel because I said so. Thanks for watching, see you guys later, and bye.